Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big uncle, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know Dream Team is out there when we upload new content. All right, we're getting right to it. We're going down the road we haven't been yet. The Denver... Denver. Nuggets. Yes, man. We yes. spoke about this a lot off the air, mm-hmm. and we finally got around to getting uh, having a discussion about them. And right off the rip, Denver looks good, man. Yeah, I mean, I've been wanting to talk about Denver, but I didn't. When I watched the games before early in the season, I I, I didn't see the Denver of the bubble, mm-hmm. you know. But right now, after the trade and everything, it seemed to put a little life in them. And uh, I like what they have. And then when you actually start looking mm-hmm. at their roster and what they have, the pieces, they have everything they need. And I don't know how many teams other than the, like, the, the, a few other teams that can say that they have every piece that they need. Mm-hmm. And, and they're deep at it. Yeah. So, I mean, if you just start calling out some of them names, you, know, you, would, you would just, when are they going to stop? <laughs> you know that's a fact man so they obviously they got the joker who's an mvp candidate yeah. right he, he's balling out of his mind mm-hmm. jamal murray we all know what he uh did in the bubble he he let the world know listen i'm here mm-hmm. um, will barton has stepped barton, into the yeah instead of starting lineup so now 100 percent healthy and he's shooting uh, yeah very good and uh doja doja you know, he's solid yeah Aaron, now listen I was waiting for you to go there go ahead man Aaron Gordon you know losing out on um, on what's his name last year walking off going to Detroit Jeremy Grant Jeremy Grant and I didn't think they could replace him boy did they replace him yeah Aaron Gordon's bigger stronger he plays I will give them the same defensive level but I believe that he's more physical he's more physical he can he can he can um block shots you know he's more athletic mm-hmm. oh it's, it's it's scary yeah the the west is really getting scary i mean yeah. and exciting for us as fans i know you nugget fans i i know you can't wait to get back into that arena mm-hmm. you know because uh that team and they're young that's the key they're all young, they're young. Uh, you know Millsap, the, the veteran over there yeah. and but you're not asking him to do as much as he once did either. He's 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 he's, he, he's Millsap. Yeah. Listen, uh, last year in the bubble, um, they they're down. Uh, actually, at that time it was uh two one. Yes, it was. No, it was three one already. It was already they were down three one, and. Uh, who was it? Marcus Morris. Marcus Morris. I, I know exactly what you're talking he about. He thought he was going to... Bu- he just started bullying and doing unnecessary, not basketball plays, to thinking that they were going to like just take Denver's heart. Mm-hmm. And it was right before the half. He did something to Millsap. <laughs> Millsap. And Millsap got up and jumped back in his face, and he lit him on fire. And the third quarter started, Millsap, and that was the key, I That's believe. The turnaround. That was the turnaround. Those are, you know, there's moments in the series where uh, you, you can go go one way, and and as much as they talk about, you know, <laughs> uh, people they have no big man to, to stop Joker, then then we had a, a, um, a Murray dropping forty and all that. And that was, and they they all of them getting the blame, but nobody mentioned what that tough boy. You know, that, you, it reminds me of a bully. Yeah, he, he gave yeah. him life, man. He, and, and you know how you're a, a bully once you punch him in the face. Now he, <laughs> and they, from there, Denver woke up, and they didn't. They came marching all the way back three one to make some history. And that that gave them the belief, man. Yeah. Like because they were down, that was a huge deficit. Yeah. And then, and that's why I was we was like all as fans expecting more from the beginning of the season. But we also got to remember, it's a marathon. It's a marathon, and the their organization nobody saw that trade going through to get Gordon. 
I didn't. I, no, even now, it, it doesn't make sense from Orlando's point of view. Like, you don't just give up players like because they lost who? Gary Harris? They gave up Gary Harris, who'd been struggling since yeah. they gave him that contract. Yeah. It, Gary Harris and who else? Um, Gary Harris and. I, I'm drawing a blank right now, but it, it still didn't equal up to Aaron Gordon. That was because, a steal. They, because they still got all their major pieces. Yeah, they still. Monte Morris is still there. Yeah. <laughs> Doja. Michael Porter's still Porter there. Porter's still here. Yeah. You know, I mean, come on. What did. That's, uh, that's th the point. That's, that's the point we're making. Yeah. They ended up with Gordon. Yeah. Denver fans, you got a baller. And I know you know now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's hard because you don't see other teams play throughout the course of the season unless you have league pass or something like right. that. But <laughs> he's a culture changer in the sense of, like, you can't teach what he brings. Yeah. All those, the big um, wingmen yeah. in the West, he, he can, can guard defend them. that. Yeah. He can guard threes. Uh, he could switch on to some twos, fours, and some and these modern day fives. He can, mm -hmm. and and that that's and if you look, um, since since the since the trade, their defense has picked up, mm -hmm. and you you already got an explosive team like that, and now and and. The way Joker passed the ball. That was my next point. Like, Aaron Gordon has never played with an individual who's going to make the game as easy as it is. Yeah. It's right. going to be going forward. Mm -hmm. All his athleticism, he don't have to use all of that all mm -hmm. the time just to get a, a shot wearing himself down. He, he's going to be fresh down. And he, all his energy will be basically on defense mm -hmm. because everything else is basically uh, layups for him. Because scoring was never the issue for them. So, yeah, yeah that, that, right. like you said, with this. And, uh, and, and, and the games that I've seen since he's been there, he, he's not in the way. He's not trying to do too much. He's just allowing the game come to him because they're just playing basketball. And when you got a point guard like Murray and then a point center, <laughs> like man, off the air, we was just, you, you asked me, you know, in my time, because I'm older than him, I ain't going to tell y'all about how many years, <laughs> but. In my time, have I ever seen, was there ever a center that do what Joker do? That's what you asked, right? Yeah, yeah. And when I, and I thought about it, I was like, no. And then I thought it's a bonus. And I was like, wait, you've got to think about some bonus. But then no, not that some bonus was bad, but some bonus, some bonus was great and I added. But the joker what he does that's, there's never been a center that does that yeah cause I my he's a point guard in the center body and we were just talking about athleticism right he doesn't possess any of that stuff right and it, it just is a, it's amazing how he can get to any spot he wants on the floor just and by it, being patient and most and, and, if, and if you thought about that as slow as he is right you would think well it's fundamentals it's not. It's unorthodox. Yeah, a lot of shots he shoots. Yeah, <laughs> the off stuff one he foot. does yeah. is it's unorthodox. It doesn't. I mean, you can't create that. Mm -mm. Coaches wouldn't even allow you to practice it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you know? real. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Jamichael Green is also another yeah. pickup from the Clippers. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're, they're stacked, man. They're stacked. Yeah, they are. They have every piece they need. They need, and they just need to get out of that that mental stage of we're young. And mm -hmm. the way um, a coach had them thinking last year, when they get back to that mentality, you know, that's that's just too much to keep on you for a full season. Yeah, you know, when they get back to that, and they they they're almost there. Mm -hmm. And it's right now, the West is gonna the because you you can't even go by the standings, right? Because when it's all said and done, like a team like this, no matter where they finish, there could be a headache for anyone. Anybody. So it's not even about finishing, bro, you got to finish top three, make sure you get home home court advantage. You want that, but well, another they, they team doesn't want to face you. Now, the thing about it is this. Home court advantage. If the fans is back in the building, mm, yeah, that's and what that you got to come to Denver and deal with all of this. In the altitude. And that yeah, alt yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. You want them home court games. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it do matter where they finish mm -hmm. because that's 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 more that's like another trade in itself if they add the fans in yeah and on top of that you got to play in devil with that altitude that's mm -hmm. crazy yeah yeah, yeah. That, that's a valid point but i mean from the standpoint of the way the roster is constructed now mm -hmm. a team with the second seed normally if you play the a seventh seed you're like all right we, we can we can get through this 
you don't want to see them because mm-hmm. that'll be a team that can sweep you yeah. with no home court. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine? That's like okay, Utah as in in first, and although it's they're far from the AC. Let's say they was eighth. You got to play them <laughs> in the first round. That's a grinded out series, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and but to me, I think that they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna move up the standings. I think they. I think they can get the two. Yeah, yeah. Or poss- possibly, depends on if you uh, if Utah can't hold it, they can actually end up with the home court advantage all the way through. Yeah. Because the West is that's that tight. It is. You know. Um. But Utah got a little space in between. Yeah, Utah they do. got a little space, and um. Phoenix got a little bit of space in between. Yeah. But between L.A., Denver, and and L.A., the fake L.A., <laughs> <laughs> the Clippers, the Flippers, the three one. I love you guys. I love Denver the way I did. I, because, but I'm sorry. I just don't like the Clippers. I don't. I don't. It's, it's, he, he's being totally honest, I man. Just I remember like, when y'all, man. Listen, but <laughs> I remember I, that day as if it was yesterday. I wanted to get. I wanted. Um, if I could, if I could find a Denver fan, because I live here in New York. If I could find it, I would have just hugged you and kissed you, <laughs> male or not. It will make a difference. Right in the right on the lip. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that was big, and you know I still hear now you know, Clipper fans and on and and on some of the YouTube other YouTubers because I watch a lot of other YouTubers and uh, they t- uh, one just recently uh, Dreamers Pro mm-hmm. he was just talking about uh, he had a picture of Joker looking at Kawhi and he was saying that. As if Joker was telling, saying to Kawhi, "We're coming for you." And in my comment, I said, "Don't you think it should be the other way around? That mentality should be that that they're coming for Denver because they already got them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they did, yeah. They already got them three one, and then they, so, but they still feel like they're the the better team because that's the narrative of the media. Yeah. They make them believe that, yeah. but it, and, no. And if they don't hurry up and wake up, well, if they don't hurry up and wake up. And mm-hmm. see that they can't match up with Denver. They couldn't match up with them last year. Because think about this: like even Jeremy Grant last year, right? He 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 put the clamps on Kawhi in certain instances, right? Kawhi missed a lot of shots, right? Yeah. Now you always talk about how Kawhi plays like a robot, right? Mm-hmm. Two dribbles in the middle, give you that the shoulder, right. try to get you off balance, fade away. With Gordon, it's not you're not that. moving him. You're not moving him. No. So I think, and that, he can move with him laterally. Yeah. So that's it's just perfect. Mm-hmm. And then they got. Other players like that, like 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 Doja like and him. Will Barton, who can match up with Paul George. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we're not even going to the bigs. Yeah, because Ibaka and all that, they're not they they're not ready they're not ready for that. Nah, Joker's a different. Yeah, Joker's breed, a whole man. other beast. Yeah, yeah man. So, Denver, wait, man. Wait, 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 yeah, wait. Yeah. Talk your talk, guys. Right. We're in no rush. Talk your talk, man. Then when Joker come out the game. Oh, just for the basketball heads, though. Say the name. JaVale McGee. You Denver fans, I know he's going to do a lot of unorthodox things. But they know he was there before. Yeah, right. But he's mature. He's more mature. Yeah. But he still does things that you're going to wonder, well, why would he do that? But I'm going to tell you, he is going to be, the little minutes that he gets, he's not going to, he don't need a lot of minutes. Mm. But the moment, the minutes he's out there, his presence is going to be felt, which is going to give them time for Joker to get a little little breather mm. on the sideline. And I'm telling you, man, <laughs> Denver, it looks, and this is, this is why I'm such an a NBA fan. Yes, sir. Right? I have my, my team. But at the same time, this is why I can talk about the Denver Nuggets. This is why I can talk about the Miami Heat. This is why I can talk about the Utah Jazz on these podcasts. Because I just love the NBA. Watch it, I love it, and I'm not biased. I, I speak it the way it actually is. I don't let the fact that I'm a fan <laughs> drive me nuts to the point to where I can't see the greatness in other teams. You're being an alternate reality, right? right. right now. No. And um, <laughs> my team is in trouble. Going against Denver, and I know that, so they better they, they better they better get their bags right. You Denver fans, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. If you don't know, I'm telling you, this team is dangerous. Yeah, and this season is looking real bright. And I couldn't say that before. 
Yeah. I was kind of worried about if Denver was going to be there. You know, they were struggling, even though they were saying that um, Joke is the MVP. And I just came, to me, I'm the type of person that know there's no MVP and you're sitting in seventh and eighth seed. Mm. But the way they're rising and <laughs> where they are in the standings, yeah, Joker is, the, is 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 right there in the runnings for MVP. And they're hitting their stride at the right time. Like we, we spoke about the trades, but mm-hmm. we have to keep in mind, they were in the bubble. But they had a long stretch as well. They didn't. They weren't in the play and they went home. Mm-hmm. They had some grinded out series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it takes that turnaround time because mm-hmm. this season is like unorthodox. We've never seen uh, uh, the finals in right. One they, month. Was, they were in the in in the Western Conference Finals. Yeah. yeah. So they they didn't get as much rest either. As much other right. teams. Yeah. So now you see they're hitting their stride. Made a major move. Mm-hmm. Didn't give up much. Have solid coaching. Got veteran leadership. Have star players. Yeah. Listen, man, from top to bottom, Denver Nuggets out there. Fans, you you have something to be very happy about. And as an NBA fan here at Team Sports Entertainment, with the league pass, we don't mind tuning in because that's quality basketball right there. Yes, it is. Yeah. So anything else you want to say? Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing else. We well, have a question, though, before we go because with the – um, the pickup of Aaron Gordon. What are you looking for from Michael Porter Jr. going forward? Exactly what he's been doing. A knockdown shooter. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and play some defense. I don't need him to be a star. I know he mm-hmm. wants to be a star. But the one thing that I can say, last year, bad timing, but he was right. Though. The way the Clippers was defending Murray and Joker, mm-hmm. and and he got on the press conference and he talked about they can't play that kind of, you know. There's other guys on the team that 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 the coach can go to, but he's only going through that little pick and roll and stuff with with uh, Murray and Joker. And although it was wrong for him to say, he was right. Yeah. He was right, and so they. Well, credit to them, they listened. You can. It changed. It did change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he should have been fine. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. Get out. And and, that, and 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 that's when the timing about it. They, and he's although he's young, they were professional enough, the organization and coach, to put that on the back burner for now because we are we got we're on a mission right now mm-hmm. and we can't mm-hmm. have this as a distraction and for them to overcome all of that being as young as they are mm-hmm. they come o- overcome that and and put on the, the show that they put on it in the bubble and now <laughs> what i believe is getting ready to happen with denver and you could just see gordon was just another energy boost to them yeah and um some of the games that i've seen already with uh with, with with them going back to your question for Porter Jr he just need to play the way he's been playing mm-hmm. he's knocking down shots sometimes he take a, uh, you know he just need to let the game come to him there you go and that's he doesn't have to force anything he got p- willing passes on the team and uh it's, it's gonna because Gordon passes so you you know like, like he's slashing and he's a high flyer at the same time, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And and he'll draw everything to him. He don't mind dishing it back out. Yeah. It's, and that's Porter. And he's a knockdown shooter. Uh, he's just gonna keep everything honest. Yeah. Yeah. So Porter Jr. I'm not looking for him to be a star. That you can't you can't have five stars no. on a team. You can be five stars, but somebody has to take a back seat. And right now, young buck. Just make sure you, you, you're ready and focused. And what I'm expecting from him is what, what he's capable of. No doubt, man. So now, they don't need him to take over the game. They no just doubt. need him to play within the system. That's it. And I agree, man. Yeah. So this is our Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Once again, don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment below. Denver Nugget fans out there, anyone else who's tuning in, what do you think about the Denver Nuggets at this present moment? Are you excited about Aaron Gordon? And what do you think you're going to finish in the standings? And what are your projections as far as playoffs goes? Also, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content here at Team Sports Entertainment. I'm Earl Tima. Co-host is my big uncle. Alan Tima, and we out of here. Team Sports Entertainment. Y'all be good. Peace.